and in this video I'm going to be talking about my experience taking a supplement specifically made to reduce cellulite. So honestly when I first decided to do this video before I started taking the supplement I was really skeptical but after reading the ingredients and doing some research and determining that it was safe I figured what did I have to lose? Not much. So the supplement that I have been taking for eight weeks now is Cellul. This is specifically made as an anti-cellulite product and the main ingredient in this is zinc and I guess each capsule, which is um, the serving, contains 35% of your daily value of recommended zinc. So a lot of people are actually really deficient in zinc, which can have so many effects on you. And one thing that I've noticed specifically about taking this supplement that I was not expecting at all is that it helped my mood. Weird. So it reduced my chemical imbalance that sort of led to depression and I can really tell when things are situational depression and you know like life is hard, things suck, whatever, I'm depressed. And differentiating between when I feel a chemical imbalance, when I'm just not eating right, and when I'm not getting enough sleep and how those contribute to depression. So I wasn't expecting this to help with my depression, but it really did. And I, I noticed a huge difference when I didn't take the supplement, when I'd forget, and when I actually did, which is a really nice side effect that I wasn't expecting. So the main ingredient in this is zinc and it also has copper. So if you're familiar with vitamins and deficiencies and those types of things, when you introduce more zinc into your diet, you can actually end up depleting your iron and then eventually your ferritins, which are kind of like, how can I simply say this? Um, your ferritins are basically like your long-term iron stores within your body. So this also has a copper um, supplement and that's 60% of your daily value. And that's just to compensate for the potential effects of zinc creating an iron deficiency in your diet. And other than that, it just has um, superoxide dismutase for melon fruit and um, other inactive ingredients are basically cellulose and water. You take this um, one capsule two times a day with liquid and let me tell you, I really noticed a difference if I took this in the morning and then didn't take it in the afternoon. My mood would definitely dip towards the end of the day. So it's, I mean, obviously like I wasn't feeling great before I started taking this, but I definitely missed the mood boost once I had started taking it, which is, interesting that that impacted me so much more than the cellulite aspect of this product. Now as for how zinc works in terms of reducing cellulite, zinc is an antioxidant. It's also something that's going to help your body detox. Now I know there's been a lot of stuff and it's basically clickbait articles saying you can't detox. Well, here's the thing. You can bombard your body with toxins and toxins are just things that have the potential to build up in your liver, in your kidneys, in your adipose tissue, including your breast tissue, and maybe they're carcinogenic. They could eventually lead to cancer. And if your body's not able to filter out these things, you can get very sick. So yes, detoxing is a thing. And when you can limit the amount of toxins that you are actively inputting into your body and increasing things like antioxidants that are going to help keep your body healthy, yes, you are detoxing your body because you're giving your kidneys and your liver a break and you're helping to reduce the buildup of these toxic things like heavy metals and other chemicals and carcinogens in your body. So yes, detoxing is a thing and I really feel like this sudden wave of articles saying it's not a thing is really just clickbait. Zinc increases your metabolism and it's also essential to your body to be able to create new tissues. So if you're if you're zinc deficient, basically your tissues are not going to be able to rebuild themselves as quickly. All of these cells need certain building blocks to be able to replicate. And zinc also boosts your collagen production. If you're familiar with collagen, it's a really important component of your skin and it helps maintain the plumpness, fullness, and elasticity of your skin. And interestingly enough, 
scientists for for whatever reason are still somewhat divided on what really causes cellulite but as far as we can tell it's really these tensions underneath your skin you have several different layers of your skin you have the fascia you have all of your adipose tissues and when things are sort of sticking together in a way that is creating tension as far as we can tell that is what they think creates cellulite so if you can aid your body in keeping your skin really supple if you can boost your collagen, if you can actively detox and get rid of these things that are going to be hurting your production of new skin cells, then you're going to be reducing cellulite. Also, there is a component in terms of massaging the fascia and keeping that in sort of a, a more supple state that can really help reduce cellulite. So one thing I noticed definitely by taking this for eight weeks, I really wasn't expecting much. I was just sort of taking it as an experiment, thinking, I don't really have anything to lose because it's not going to hurt me. It's not a dangerous supplement. It's not going to interfere with any of my other vitamins because it is compensating for any potential iron loss. But I wasn't expecting it to actually really work. <laughs> now it worked on more of a superficial level because in the past you could see my cellulite when I was just standing stationary and now you have to really push and pull the skin in order to be able to see it. There it is. There it is, in all its glory, cellulite. You guys, I'm supposed to be all like body positive because I'm on YouTube, but I hate my thighs. I hate them. I hate them. I see it and I don't even think twice about it on other people. I don't care. You do you. I think it looks fine. But on me personally, I'm just super critical of myself. So that's where I am in my own self-loathing. And I'm gonna try this out and take you along for the ride. So while there is still cellulite, it seems on a deeper level in the tissue, the surface is much smoother and much more supple and plump without being fattier. And for some reason, that just keeps the cellulite from being as visible unless I'm actually squeezing the skin and trying to show you the cellulite. Now, I had every intention of actually increasing my exercise level while I was doing this, but I have been sick for basically a month. So <laughs> I have hardly been exercising. I definitely have not been exercising more than I was before. I'm probably exercising maybe a tenth of what I was. So this isn't really the result of an exercise routine or anything like that. It's not a result of any other dietary change. I have increased my magnesium recently, but that's about it. So this is all just the effects of this supplement and I'll show you this now. Get ready for thunder thighs. So this is what my thighs look like now and you'll notice they're fairly smooth. I mean, obviously, like, there's fat and there are areas that I'm not incredibly happy with, like this right here. But I actually have to manipulate the surface of the skin in order for you to be able to see any cellulite. So when I'm not touching it at all, it's pretty much not there. <laughs> this is, like, really up close and personal, you guys. So those are my thighs manipulating it, then that's when you can kind of see a little bit. But really, I am pretty happy with the results of this. I know that you can get zinc from things like seafood, um, spinach, cashews, pumpkin seeds, and of course, you know, we're going into October, so pumpkin seeds are gonna be around. But just having this supplement be something so easy to take made it really easy to get extra zinc into my diet, and like the mood boosting benefits alone are definitely worth it. Selenium is also really great for similar effects in the body from what zinc does. And it's another one of those really important components for the building blocks of your skin. And it also stimulates your thyroid gland, which if you have problem with fat buildup and you have a thyroid problem and you're able to help it out, that could also make a difference in your cellulite and overall fat retention. And seafood and things like Brazil nuts are also good sources of selenium. Phosphorus is another good cellulite supplement because it helps you burn carbohydrates faster. So if you're having too many carbohydrates and you're having trouble getting through them to then burn the fat, it's going to aid that process and speed it up. And it also aids in the repair of tissues and cells. So 
Again, it's another supplement that's really just going to help the building blocks of your skin. You can find phosphorus in things like salmon, nuts, and again, pumpkin seeds. So it's kind of seeming like if you're into changing your diet to then help improve your cellulite, pumpkin seeds are kind of like your golden ticket, and taking a zinc supplement, which I have shown without any exercise whatsoever has actually really made a big difference in at least the superficial appearance of cellulite. I personally think this supplement is great and worth it, especially if you have a hard time sticking to a specific diet or being mindful of the nutrients that you're getting. People are busy and sometimes you're just not going to do the best for yourself in getting the right kinds of nutrients every single day and making sure that you get the right amount of each thing that you're trying to get into your diet. So I hope this has given you a little bit of helpful information on what types of supplements work for cellulite as well as why they work and shown you if a supplement like this is worth it for you and if it has the potential to work like it did for me. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos. Follow me on social media at Katrinaosity. Check out my podcast at mdxpods.com. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It really helps me out.